In this example, we're going to find the velocity and direction of motion of an object that's moving in with curvilinear motion, meaning we have the path defined by the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. So we know that x of t, the x-position as a function of time, is equal to 1 plus 2t. And we know that the y-position as a function of time is equal to t squared minus 3t. We want to know the velocity and direction of motion at time equal 2. So velocity is the derivative with respect to t of the position. So the x velocity then is going to be the derivative of this, which is 2. The y velocity is going to be the derivative of the, the y position, so 2t minus 3. We need to know at time 2, so vx of 2 is 2. vy of 2 is going to be 2 times 2 minus 3, or 1. So we have the x component of velocity and the y component. We put them together using this formula, and that will give us the resultant velocity or total velocity. So velocity is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is square root of 5, or approximately 2.2. That's the magnitude of the velocity. We need to know the direction of the velocity, and that comes from this equation. Since we need theta, we can find that that's the tan inverse of the y velocity, which is 1, over the x velocity, which is 2. In degrees, that's 26.565. Just to be sure, we should check the quadrant. Make sure we're not just getting the reference angle here. So the y value is positive, so we're in quadrant 1 or 2. The x value is positive, so that means we're in quadrant 1. So this is the theta we found, which indeed 26.565.